As you're aware, um, we currently have a man in custody who was assisting us with our investigations into three separate incidents that occurred at Southport in the early hours of this morning. Uh, that individual acting alone was taken into custody by police at the time and we anticipate that this afternoon there will be charges preferred relating to all three of those incidents. Questions, thank you. So what was the sequence of events? The sequence of events was that an incident occurred inside a uh, taxi uh, where there was a discharge of a firearm. Shortly after that, a, uh, a milk truck driver um, had his vehicle stolen. Uh, that vehicle was uh, shortly after crashed and uh, not long after that, we saw a bus driver who was assaulted uh, inside his bus. Uh, it wasn't long after that the police attended the scene and the person was taken into custody. It all happened on the road? I understand so, yes. Did he get far with the milk truck? I understand that he didn't go too far at all, no. How many shots were fired inside that taxi? There was only one shot fired inside the taxi and one shot fired outside of the taxi. So was that from... Who was that from, from outside the factory? The same person? Same person, yes. And was it a double barrel shotgun that was used? Or? Not sure whether it was a double barrel shotgun, but certainly it was a shotgun that was used, yes. Yeah, that was sawn off. It was sawn off, yeah, yes. Do we know what led up to the, to the uh, discharging the firearm? Was there an incident inside the taxi or skylarking? We all alleged that, that there was an incident inside the taxi involving this, this male person only. And, um, we're not sure what brought that about. So was there a pass another passenger? Mm -hmm. There was another passenger in the taxi, uh, but he took no part in any of these events. Was he trying to take the vehicle at any stage? Was there any, you know, what were, were there threats made to the taxi driver? Is it believed that the firearm was, um, the police alleged that the firearm was pointed at the taxi driver at any stage? I can't comment on that at the moment. We're still um, interviewing witnesses and taking statements, so that degree of um, um, minutiae I'm not. The, uh, the taxi driver was struck with a, a weapon, is that correct? Is that right? Again, look, I, I really can't comment on the, the, the intricacies of the investigation, as you understand, it's still unfolding, uh, and the, this person has yet to be placed before the court. Was the taxi driver hurt? He was assaulted. Um, the, this is a second pretty serious bike incident, or suggested bike related incident in two days on the coast. What, what's your view on? I think it's really important to clarify. This in, these incidents in Southport are not bikey related. There is no bikey related incident at all. The male person that we have in custody is an associate of an outlaw motorcycle gang. He acted as an individual, an individual alone, inside the taxi. His arrest um, officers had to be quite violent with him. Can you tell us about his demeanour at the time? Obviously, uh, there was a, a large amount of resistance from him whilst the police were making that arrest. Uh, it took a great deal of uh, expertise by the police at the scene to actually take him into custody. And yes, there was a degree of violence. Are you satisfied with the, with the force used by police was adequate? I'm more than satisfied, yes, given all of the circumstances. I'm, I think the police acted very professional. One officer was injured, though? One officer has been injured? Slightly injured, yes. The dog squad officer was the first one to approach the man? The dog, yes, he was, yes. Is it disappointing that he was um, out on parole and only released from jail two months ago? What's disappointing for me is that any time that any person uh, commits acts of violence like this in the public domain is of concern to us. So that's really the disappointment that we have. Uh, particularly gets innocent people who are going about their work uh, in, in a very public domain. How are those victims going? Oh, look, I can't comment on that. Given that he, there was such um, violence in the arrest and he had to be tasered a number, of, a number of times, do you think he was under the influence of drugs or something like that? It's too early to say, really. Did he need any medical treatment at all? Not that I know of, no. Is there, can you um, uh, provide a more update on the investigation into the um, incident on Saturday, Cool and Gatter? Yeah, sure. Um, our investigations into the incident of Cool and Gatter are continuing. Uh, we have charged a person uh, with, with an offence or a fray. Um, that person also acted as an individual 
He is an associate of an outlaw motorcycle gang, but he is not a fully patched member of that gang. So, can you say one thing? Uh, look, I prefer not to at this stage. You're all aware that there are currently matters before the court in Queensland to make any comment about any particular gang would be highly inappropriate. In regards to uh, the uh, incidents in Southport, would you say it's very lucky that uh, nobody was seriously hurt? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, Any time that a firearm is discharged in the public domain, uh, we would have great concerns that innocent bystanders may have been injured. In this instance, that didn't occur, and we're very grateful for that. How long had he been in the taxi? Do you know where he had come from? I'm not privy to that information, sorry. This passenger inside the taxi, male, female? Male. And friend? A friend. Yes. I know these two guys are both um, associates that are involved in these two separate incidents, but they're still members of, you know, associating with bikey gangs. How would you sort of characterise the um, bikey problem on the coast at the moment? Uh, there's no doubt that there is a significant presence of outlaw motorcycle gang members in the Gold Coast. Um, they have become a priority for us in our policing endeavours and we continue to have a significant focus on them and their activities, uh, that focus will continue. Um, they are, our response to any activities undertaken by outlaw motorcycle gangs is given high priority here uh, on a weekly basis. The uh, opposition leaders in town today and was asked mm-hmm. about outlaw motorcycle gangs and said that's something he would be looking at if elected. Would you welcome more resources to combat outlaw motorcycle gangs? Uh, I think every police commander would welcome any increase in resources, uh, but can I say that uh, it's not about resources, it's about the activities of these people. Um, they are a small group in relative terms. Uh, they're not, when you look at the overall population that, that reside here in the Gold Coast area, they are only a small um, part of the community. Uh, unfortunately, they um, have a view that um, they are above the law, or some of them certainly do. We're aware of that. Uh, we are adequately resourced ourselves with, uh, on a weekly basis I suggest with Task Force Hydra uh, in targeting them and their activities and that's really uh, can be evidenced by the significant results that we've obtained against them. You were able to say what this friend did, did he get out of the taxi to be... The friend? Mm-hmm. He got out of the taxi and ran for his life. I think he was as concerned as anybody. And how is the taxi driver bearing today? Oh, look, I'm not privy to that sort of information. I'm not dealing at a ground level with the taxi driver. But I think he's OK. I don't have any reports to suggest otherwise. So all victims have been um, formally interviewed? That's what's happening now, yes. Assistant Commissioner, so the taxi driver was assaulted. The look truck driver, was he assaulted or did he just have his truck stolen? No, he was also assaulted. All, all three, all three all men three were assaulted right. by this one person. Are you able to say how he got into the driver's seat of the, ta- uh, of the um, truck that he pulled? Uh, and again, all matters that are under investigation, so I can't comment on that. You must, must appreciate that these, yeah. these matters have to go before the court, and uh, they are matters for the court to determine. So it's really not appropriate that I make any further comment about the actual incidents of them that they have occurred. Did police that ever actually make a cordon when they were arresting this man? There was some suggestion of an act that they cordoned off the area at all? Uh, I'm not aware of any cordons occur, uh, but certainly police attended and uh, I think with the use of the police dog we're able to track this fellow down he was taken into custody and it was a great job. And from the first incident to the final incident it was all within that sort of kilometre radius, wasn't it? It was quite close. Yes. Yes. Do you have any police that can put cordons? No, I don't. And do you know what time frame it was, like within that one kilometre we are talking? And, and again, a level, of level of detail that I'm not privy to, and I don't, I don't get into that level of detail, but certainly uh, I understand that our, our response was, uh, was um, very quick. Uh, we were able to overwhelm and take this man into custody before he caused any more mayhem, and I think that's pretty good. Police are working nice now. And was there another taxi driver who alerted police as well? I understand that might have been the case.